In this simulation, we have a lamp and a spectroscope on our bench top. We also have a series of discharge tubes available within the rack on the wall. To install a discharge tube in the lamp, simply click on it. You can then turn on the lamp by clicking the red button. To switch the discharge tube, you just need to click on a different tube from the rack and it will install automatically. The first discharge tube contains sodium and is used to calibrate the spectroscope. In order to observe the atomic line spectrum, click anywhere on the spectroscope to change the view. In this view, you can observe spectral lines through the eyepiece on the left, while on the right, you can observe how the eyepiece rotates through different diffraction angles. Using your left and right arrow keys, you can rotate the eyepiece while keeping watch for spectral lines. Holding the arrow key gradually increases the speed of rotation, but be careful not to go too fast and miss a spectral line. Once you've zeroed in on a spectral line, you can record the angle to one decimal place, either in your own notebook or on the one provided in the virtual environment. Note that angles recorded in the virtual notebook are not saved. The bottom control panel allows you to reset the angle of the spectroscope to zero or to revert back to the full benchtop view to allow you to install a new discharge tube. You can always click on the help button for detailed instructions on how to use the simulation.